Hey howdy folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. So I just got back from the wedding as some of you know. Oh I want to say a big big thank you to some of you guys for some of the lovely comments and well wishes. That was really really nice of you. I even showed the missus them she thought it was lovely as well so <laughs> huge huge thank you for that. I just want to say the day went absolutely amazing. It was fantastic. Couldn't have went any better. Couldn't have wished for anything better. It was beautiful. So big thank you for that. Anyway, I got back on Thursday night, and, and that was Friday, and I just looked on the forum, and Arctic Fury is ported over Cranberry Golf Club Spice. Now, I remember playing this on TGC2 and thought it was a beautiful course, so I'm going to give this a little play. As you see, the fairways are moderate, the green, green firmness is moderate, the green speed is fast, time of day is morning, got a little bit of light cloud there, and the wind speed is medium. So we are actually playing off the white tees, which is the furthest ones back which are 7,050 yards. We'll keep pin set number one, and let's get going. Now I had a little look back on TGC2 and I remember playing this beautiful course. I'm sure if I remember, I think I shot minus 10 on that now. I'm not, don't think I'll shoot anywhere near that because I even hadn't even been on the driving range today. It's my first game since Sunday, which is what, five days. So hole one, 528 yards, par four, stroke index three. So just see how we go but as you know guys i'm not that fussed about scoring i just love showing off these courses for the designers and if i remember right this is a beautiful course i ah, see this is annoying me i'm trying to zoom out look and do my pan around that i used to do and i can't do it ah. okay 528 yards par four stroke into i wonder if he's moved these tees back because we can the distance we can get off the tees now because that's a huge par four Oops, hits a slope. That's the way to the right. A big open area there, so it should be okay. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to the swing that I'm going to be hitting today. Okay, we're on a, well, kind of a slope, but sort of changes to flat, sort of halfway. So I think, I don't know if we're on flat or up a slope. Kind of a little slope there. Okay, 228, 25 feet down. So that's, that's actually going to play about 220. Let's go with the 212. We'll go with the 5 hybrid. Looks like everything's filtering around towards the pin anyway. I'm going to have to miss that branch on the, the right hand side there, that one right there. So I'm hoping the wind can pull this round towards the green. Okay, that's good. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that might be pretty good. If it runs up and hits that little slope that right down towards the hole. Go on. Oh my, how close was that? <laughs> that was good. Didn't expect to get anywhere near that close. Okay, start off the birdie. Lovely. A little cow poking his head out there. Okay, hold two, 414 yards, par four, stroke index one. Uphill here. Fairway's taking a turn around to the left. You've got two bunkers either side of the fairway there. Sort of protecting this turn. Pins on the left hand side, so that could be pretty tough to get to. I'm gonna have to go with a three wood, so you can get right up to this corner because it's uphill, so it's gonna take a little bit of distance off. I wonder if the driver will make it up there. Do you know what? I think the driver might. Let's try it. Oh! Oh, I thought I was going to hit that tree there. Oh, that's spot on. Yeah, that's nice. Probably still could have went with the three wood. That was a bit... Ooh, that was testy, that was. Okay, 154. It's playing 164. Got the 8 iron at 158. I think that should be okay. It's going to hit this little down slope here and should filter down towards the pin. Oh, we're on a slope as well. Bowls above our feet, so that's going to pull it even more to the left. Oh, nice. Perfect, perfect. It should turn around. Oh, I might have played that a little bit short. I have. Is it going to come off this slope for me? No, it's going to stay there. That's going to give us one hell of a putt. OK, 
Okay, this could be a tough putt. We've got 25 feet, six inches down. I think it's going to move a lot more left to right than it is right to left here. But it's coming off the club face and it's going to turn left pretty fast, I think. It needs to turn. Come on. Oh, that was close. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, my putt and swing still atrocious. Look at that, that line. <laughs> so that's a part. Okay, hole three, 392 yards, par four, stroke index 13. Huge, huge elevation here, downhill. So we're gonna get a good hit off the, the tee with this. I mean, you could probably, no, I was gonna say you could probably go for the green, but no chance. Oh yeah, hold on, 328 yards to the green, but you're not gonna get over that tree there. No chance. I mean, you could probably try and cut it round with a lot of draw on it, but nah. I think I'm just going to go down to the, the one iron here. That should take us just past that tree, I reckon, on the right-hand side. It gives a nice angle into the green. So let's try that. Whoop. Perfect, perfect. Nice. I thought my swing would be all over the place since I haven't played since Sunday. Okay, now I need you to stop ball. That's not bad. Should be okay. Okay, 85. So that's playing right about 95. Right about that. Let's go with the, the normal shot. That should be, what, 91? Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. A little bit of a down slope left to right there so the ball's below our feet it's going to push it a little bit more right nine mile an hour just sort of crept up there it's a nice strike and i need that wind to pull around come on oh it could have been a bit close on that i thought the wind would affect it more but mind you it was uphill so the elevation wasn't that big on the, the ball if you know what i mean the trajectory Okay, nine feet, three inches down. So that's just a little tap for this one. Oh, we get the birdie, nice. Nice little putt that, they're pretty tough little putts then. Okay, another huge elevation change here. Uphill, I'm quite happy that he's went with the, the autumn harvest theme instead of the Swiss Alps theme, because the colours just look absolutely beautiful. A little farm at the back of this green here. Okay, 189, so that's playing about oh, 208, I reckon. 212, the 5 hybrid, that should make it, that wind should hold it up for us as well. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it. Just see so if you can get a little bit more height on it, and it'll come down softer. Oh, that's nice. I need the wind to push it round. Oh, it might still go a bit far though. Oh, a little bit more loft on that. That would have been beautiful. I like the little well he's got there as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, 15 feet, four inches down. There's not a lot of turn in this at all. Kind of a little tap. Oh, that's going to pull up, is it? Oh, no. Pace was nice. That gives us another birdie. Okay, hole five. 542 yards, par five. Stroke index 17. Again, beautiful view off the tee here. Huge elevation. Okay, fairway's taking a turn. Dog leg round to the right hand side here. Kind of uphill for the second shot towards the green if we can reach the green now can we kind of get through here let me have a look oh i reckon we can but with that downhill where's the three wood gonna land three wood should land lovely on the fairway there but it's that big 
dead tree there, right there. That's a bit dodgy. Maybe try and go to the right of that, I think. I think that might work. Okay, lovely. Oh, it's actually went right over that dead tree. Do you know what? You probably could have went with the driver that. That is actually going to run out into the rough. Yeah, I think we could have went with the driver there, you know. And aimed it right down that fairway. Oh, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Oh dear. Okay. 194. Now I'm just going to have to play it. I'm not going to go for the green. I'm going to have to play it over here, I think. Let's put a little bit of draw on this as well. The wind should help it too. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that was a pretty pretty bad mistake there with that three, but I should have known it would have carried on quite a bit. That was a pretty thin fairway to land on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, 72. So I was playing about 70. About 78, I reckon. I'm actually going to go with a 72-yard pitch for the pitching wedge. We should get a little skip forward. So it should be okay if it hits the front of the green, I think. Perfect, perfect. That's what I want. Come on, bounce up there. Oh no, hits it. Hits the upslope. It just stops dead. A couple inches more. That would have been perfect, I think. Okay, eight feet. One foot up. It's just a little tiny chip shot here. Don't want too much on this. Is it going? Oh, that's not bad. That's going to give us a par. You should actually be converting birdies on par fives, to be honest, but that first shot just left us in a bit of trouble there. I had to draw around that tree. Okay, hole six, 531 yards, par four, stroke index 11. So it's a pretty big par four again. Fairways turning around to the left. Oh, look at that down there. Isn't that lovely? I'll have a look at, a little look at that when we get a bit closer. So that driver should be okay. Wind should push it around for me a little bit. Oh, it's a fast. Oh dear, where's this going? Come on, kick on for me. Oh yes, what a kick. Lucky, lucky bounce. Quite a big drive as well, even though I hit that tree. 329 yards. Okay, over the water here towards the green. 195 is plain. 194. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Look at the bridges. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, it's very nice. Got like a little sort of boardwalk there as well. You can walk along. Should have put some like lamps or you know the little sort of lovely little lantern street lamps down that boardwalk. That would have looked pretty nice. Okay, what did I say? 194 I've got. So I'm going to stick with the five iron, a little tiny bit of loft on it. But again, let's hope I don't hit this too short. Nice strike. Perfect, perfect. That wind is not pulling it around enough for me though. Oh, I could have took a little bit more off that. So that might roll off. What oh, was it staying? Yeah, it's stuck there. Yeah, that's not bad. Yep, yeah, thought the wind would have pulled it around a little bit more, but it didn't. Okay, 19 feet, 4 inches down. Okay, got a little bit of turn right to left here. Come on, baby. Go on. Oh, yes, and it turned right at the end there, right into the hole. Great little putt, that one. Okay, hole 7, 302 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Yeah, they've got the sort of white snow-capped mountains there. It's probably done out of a sand texture. Pretty cool. Okay, 302 yards, par 4. I wonder if we'll be able to reach the... We should be able to reach the green here. The driver's going to be way too much, I think, though. Yeah, the driver, I'd put you in the water, I reckon. I think we're going to have to play out to the left here. At the right, sorry. And cut it in. A bit of draw. We're fighting this wind as well, so put quite a bit of draw on that. This might be too much. We'll see. 
Oh, it's a fast as well. No. Oh, that was pretty bad. That was shocking. <laughs> oh, he gets a lovely bounce again. How lucky was that? I don't know if this big tree on the left-hand side might be in our way here. Yeah, that was way too much straw. Even uh, I hit a fast as well, so that's pulled it right way, way around to the left. Do you know what? I think we might just get past that. But the wind... Ooh, 71. It's actually playing about 66, I think. So let's go down to the 64 with a gap wedge. Put a little bit of loft on it. I think I might clip that tree, you know. So I'm going to aim it a little bit. A little bit right. Tiny little bit of draw on this. Again, I'm going to have to hit this perfect, perfect. Oh no, hit a slow. Oh dear, look at that. Pushed it way out to the right. Again, look at that bounce. <laughs> I've been quite lucky with them bounces. Yeah, that's what I love about this short game. If you don't hit a perfect, perfect. Oh, you could be miles away from the pin. Okay, 21 feet, one foot, one foot. That doesn't look one foot down from here. Let's have a look. Eight inches there. Seven, six, five, four. Where's the one foot? Only like 10 inches there. It's one foot there. It's not one foot next to the hole though. Okay, so 21 foot. See, what did I say? Nine inches. Okay, it's got a bit of a turn right to the left here. Again, just gonna have to give this a little tap. And let the slope take it. Oh no, that's going to the left. Come on, slow up for me. Stop, stop, stop. Just a little bit too much pace. Now, you look at that water wheel there. Let me have a look at that. I forgot. Let's just have a little, little turn around. It actually looks better from a distance because I remember this on TGC2. So I actually I zoomed right into it. And it's, it's made out of um, boards, uh, the advertisement boards, HP, golf club boards. Looks really nice from distance. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, I wish to um, take that scout cam from the putting away from the putting, if you know what I mean. They, they need to separate that so you can like have a little look around. Okay, what have we got? Eight feet, one inch up. It's pretty straight. No, seven feet, one inch up, sorry. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. That was a par, I think, was it? Yep, par. Okay, beautiful par three here. Oh, the water. Again, you've got that little water wheel. Right over that. Like a mill. Matter of fact, that's where I... Something similar to where I was on Monday. It was called the Mill Forge in Gretna Green. Beautiful place. Okay, 217. So that is playing... Right about 209, but with that wind, I think the 5 hybrid might do us justice here. A little bit to the left here. Can rack some of that wind. I'm not even going to put any loft on this, because I'm sure that wind should hold it up for us. Well, I've pulled out a little bit left. Come on, wind, push it around for me. Oh, I could have took some off that. That's going to trickle off. Oh, it's just stayed on the edge, I think. Okay, 13 feet, 4 inches down. It's a pretty big turn here. Left to right. Again, it's going to have to give us a little tap. Oh, it's not turning enough. Oh, and I don't think I had the legs either. That's okay, we'll take the par for that. Bit of course, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. We love the colours. Okay, hole nine, 587 yards. Par five, stroke index 15. Let's hopefully we can pick up a birdie here. 587, can't see he's reaching the green in two. It's taking quite a big turn all the way around here. Love a little water feature right in front of the green. OK, 
Yeah, there's a little bit of a pool to the right there. Should be okay though. Right in the middle of the fairway. Pretty short because it's going to hit, hit that upslope and kind of slowed it down. Okay, 296, so definitely not going for the green. I think we'll come down to the 5 hybrid here. Oh, it's a fast. Oh no, look at this. <coughs> oh, come on, kick out. Go on. Oh, there's another lovely bounce. How about that? <laughs> okay, so that leaves us 55, 57 to the pin. 56 yards for the sand wedge. Put a bit of loft on this because they skip forward. Kind of on a little downhill as well. Oh, it's a fast that could go anywhere. Let's go right past the pin. Is it going to come off this slope? Come on. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so nine feet, three inches down. Again, it's going to have to be just a tiny little tap here. Oh, it's not turning. Okay, we we'll tap in for the par. Okay, hole 10. 98 yards, part three, stroke index two, cracking little par three this. Oh, that wind sort of picked up a bit. Oh, look, he's even got the Swiss flag there <laughs> on that building. That's pretty cool. Okay, nice little sort of waterfall coming down there. I do like the way it sort of turns. That is nice. Okay. A lovely rock work all the way around the, the green there as well. Okay, what I say, 93, so that's playing about 88. A little bit of wind though, against this. I'm actually going to down off that just a touch. Perfect, perfect, that's nice. I need the wind to pull it around towards the pin for me. Ooh, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, should leave us a little putt for the birdie. Oh no, that's pulled. Oof. That was so close. Great looking rock work. <coughs> Excuse me again. Nice rock work that the bridge sort of going over the river. Yeah, he's planting this absolutely top notch R2 Fury. Really does a cracking job. Okay, hole 11, 429 yards par 4, stroke index 8. That's quite a nice strike there. I've tried to sort of play down the left-hand side. I didn't want this tree to sort of impede my swing into the green. It might not. Oh, I don't think it will actually because the wind was coming in from the left. Oh, that's fine. Okay, 116. So that's playing about 113. Oh, that's too much. That's, I mean, that's not enough. Could always... Oh, down loft it a bit, I think. Let's down loft it. See how that goes. This could be way long or short. <laughs> it's just guesswork, this is. Nice strike, though. Need the wind. Come on, push it around. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, seven feet, one inch up. Oh, I pulled that. Look at that putting swing again. Oh, my putting is atrocious. The swing, the swing plane on my putt, it's just really bad. 
as I said in a couple of videos before, I need to get on the putting range just for an hour or so and just try and just do the same putt over and over and over again. Just try and sort that pool that I've got to the left. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I do like where he's got the little bit of sandy textures there on the right hand side hill. I'll show you. It's like little bits of snow he's put down. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like that. Yep, that's nice. What's this he's got up here? It's like a an equestrian paddock, a little horse paddock. You even got a little grandstand there for people to watch. That's nice. As I said in um or oh, kind of one of these other videos, I said if you just play an Arctic Fury course, just take a little time, look around. Because some of the things he adds to his course is absolutely fantastic. Okay, 226 yards, 25 up, so it's playing about 234, I reckon. I'm gonna go with a one iron. This might be a bit too much. Might get a little bit of run on this. Oh, hits a slow. Now, is this going to come around towards the hole for me here? Come on. It's going to leave us quite a big putt. Yeah, slow down swing that. So I didn't get enough distance on it. Oh, there's a big swinger right to left. 24 feet, 3 inches up. This is going to turn quite a bit. It all depends on pace though. Oh, I haven't hit that. Oh my goodness, that is shocking. <laughs> That's a shocking putt. Wow. I might even get a bogey here, guys. 7 foot, 1 inch down. Oh, tough little putt for a part. Oh, and it's pulled. Nope, that's a bogey. Wow. That first putt, though, that was atrocious. That was that was terrible. Wow, I haven't three putted for a while. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> but, like I say, guys, it's the course and the enjoyment of playing these courses. I, I love. Don't get me wrong, I do love hitting low scores and that, but just so enjoy playing some beautiful courses. It doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. Okay, hole thirteen, four hundred and thirty-six yards, par four, stroke index ten. Okay, one iron, three wood. Let's have a look. Was the three wood going to take us? That should be okay. Might just clip that tree. Nice strike. Perfect. Perfect. If it hits the tree, it should still be fine. Yep, on the fairway. That'll do us. I mean, it could have took the driver down, sort of put a bit of draw on it, but that'll be fine now, I think. Okay, 177, and it's playing about 181. So let's put a little bit of loft on this. Let's aim it over to the right hand side for the wind. Oh, it's a slope. It's going to keep it out to the right. Oh, come on. Bounce for me. Oh, didn't get a lucky bounce that time. That was that slow down swing, though. Not good. Okay, 14 yards, 2 feet up. I'm going to go with the 9 nine yard chip, yeah. That usually runs out at about 14 to 15 yards, so we'll go with that. But you've got to get perfect, perfect. 12, oh mind you, it was uphill, so 12 yards, yeah. That's about, that's okay. We'll take the putt, if we can get it, that is. Okay, we'll take the par for that. Okay, hole 14, 481 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. So it's pretty short par 4, uh, par 5. It looks like it might be going uphill. They really need to give these designers more waypoints so they don't have to cut through trees and stuff when they're doing dog legs. They only have two waypoints, which is pretty bad. You just give them three or four so you get a nice um, sort of flyby. All right, I'm not gonna, no way am I going to get through there. So let's go with three wood. Wind should pull it around for him. I'm going to put a little bit of draw on it as well. I think three wood probably would get over that middle trap last tree there so that looks okay 
Oh, don't hit the tree. That's fine. Okay, looks like the ball is going to be above our feet here. Going to be on a big right to left slope. Oh, yeah. Okay, 229 to the pin. Going to go with a 212. Go with a 5 hybrid, but I'm actually going to put some loft on it as well because quite a bit of wind up. I'm going to have to aim right over the top of these trees. The slope should pull it back in towards the green for me. Oh, it's a slow. It's going to keep it out on the right. Nope, it's going to hit that tree. Oh, look at that. Wasn't far off the mark there. If I hit a perfect, perfect, that would have been lovely, I reckon. Okay, 32 yards, two feet up. We're going to go with the flop shot. 30 yard flop. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. That should hold up nice. Come on, stop. Okay, little three foot, one inch down. And that gives us a birdie. Yep, birdie. Oh, look at this. Isn't this beautiful looking hole here. Look at that. I love the way that bridge sort of just goes over that gap. The planting is absolutely top notch that. Okay, so we've got hole 15, 490 yards, par 4, stroke index 12. 387, so um, we're just going to play up to here, I reckon. Could we get over there? Nope. Just hopefully that tree doesn't, that sort of plant in the middle of the fairway doesn't come into play. It might, you know. So I'm going to drop it to a three wood here, guys. Just to try and keep that out of play. Oh, hits a slow again. Yeah, I think the driver probably would have run right down towards that little plantation now. Definitely. So I think the three wood was the right club to play there. Pretty big drive for a three wood, 319 yards. Okay, 126 to the pin. We're going to down loft this a little tiny touch. And the ball's below our feet here. So it's going to push out to the right along with that wind. Okay, nice strike. Perfect, perfect. Now the wind's pulling around quite nice. Come on, I want you to push forward now. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I'll leave another nice little tap in for another birdie. Course challenge completed. One putt par. Okay, hole 16, 534 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. Okay, which way is the fairway going here? Let's turn around to the right. Nice big open fairway, this one. A little bit uphill for the second shot towards the green. That looks like we could probably get past here, I reckon. Come on, let's have a look. Yeah, with that wind and that sort of downhill, I reckon we can get right down there. As long as I hit a perfect, perfect. Just missed that tree there on the left. Yep, that's fine. Now hopefully this should kick round to the right a bit. Nope. Come on, turn around. There we go. Nice big drive over 350 yards, 353 yards. That shortened this hole quite a bit. Pretty big hole though, 534 yards for a par 4. Okay, that's playing 177, round about that. And we've got a 7 iron, gives us 169. So I'm going to a little bit of loft on that for the wind. Nice strike. Oh, I could have took a little bit more off that. That's going to run past the hole, I think. Oh, a little bit right of the hole there as well. Okay, what have we got? 16 feet, 2 inches down. It's got quite a big turn, right to left here. Oh, nice putt. Lovely putt. So that gives us another birdie. What are we on? Minus 7. 
Ah, this is nice. Look at that. The, water, the, the rapids just going right past the tee there on this par 3. Hole 17, 190 yards. Par 3, stroke index 16. Okay, the wind's against us here. Okay, 193, so that's playing about 187. I think the 5 iron might be okay, you know. I'll go for it. Okay, nice strike. Oh, that is nice. Oh, it's going to run past quite a bit. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's not bad from there. Going in there with a the 5 iron, that's all right. Leaves us eight foot, one inch down, a little bit of a turn, left to right here. And we get another birdie. Okay, final hole. Hole 18, 465 yards, par four, stroke index 14. Okay, this looks like it's a bit of an incline up towards the green here. Fairway takes a little turn round to the right. Green is on, the pin is on the back left. Looks pretty flash up there, I think. Okay, so let's just smash the driver up here. Oh, I thought I hit a slow there. I had like a delayed reaction at the top of my swing, <laughs> but it worked out okay. Tell you what, uh, Pretty pleased the way I've been swinging. I mean, I haven't played since what Sunday. This is Friday, so that's what five five days. So yeah, pretty pleased with this. Okay, one seventy five. So that's playing about one eighty two ish runabout. Put a little bit of loft on. Let's just aim it to the edge of the green here. Oh yep, yeah, fast. I knew it. That might be okay though. Yep, that's going to be fine. That is not bad at all. Now, can we get the birdie? I don't know if you can hear my daughter coughing in the background, guys, was <laughs> when we were away. Yes, as I said, we just come back yesterday and she sort of come down with a bit of a cold. Okay, what we've got here? 12 feet, 1 inch up for the final putt, I hope. Oh, that's pulling left. Nope, so we're going to have another putt. Yeah, look at that backswing on my putt. Oh. So there you go. That's Cranberry Golf Club. Schweiss by Arctic Fury. Beautiful, beautiful course. Certainly worth a play, guys. You, you need to give this a play. That's going to get a 5 out of 5 from me. There's quite a few of his courses I've got on here now. Uh, don't forget guys if you like content hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already and you wish to do so hit that subscribe button because when you do there's a little notification bell there why didn't that come up ah there we go there's a little notification bell there when you hit subscribe and you will be notified anytime i upload any more videos to youtube also follow me on twitter and uh, once you follow me on twitter uh, once i upload a video to youtube uh, you will be notified on twitter as well i have just uploaded a video so there you go guys, Cranberry Golf Club, Schweiss by Arctic Fury. Beautiful course, give it a shot, I only hit minus eight. It's not a bad score since I haven't played for five days. But thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you again next time.